It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th. But I wanted you to keep in mind that the timing is really fluid because you, in the reading that I did yesterday, you know, after I did it and I was out relaxing, I was thinking about it. You know, the timing can be at any time. And since it's a new moon, you know, that reading can play out for the next six months. Okay? So these are the energies that I'm picking up on as to what's to come in the days ahead, depending on where you're at in your life. Okay, um, could be the next 24 hours, could be happening right now, could have happened yesterday. But this is, for me, this is what's to come, okay? So what do we have for a message to deliver today? What do we have for a message to deliver today? Nine of Pentacles, this is enjoying life. You know, this is very, very abundant, stable, solid, secure, hard working, abundance. Somebody's hard work paying off, nothing to worry about. Absolutely, and I do apologize again for the heat. My body temperature is, I don't know, needs heat. <laughs> Anyhow, that's Nine of Pentacles, that is stable. But I feel like that's, that's you know, maybe right now. Maybe right now you're enjoying your life. You're stable. You're solid and secure. But this comes after hard work. It's not going to be easy to obtain success. This is success. This is financially independent. Secure. Just, you know, the storm is over. I would say what I just heard was nine weeks. Usually pentacles are years, but I just heard nine weeks. So if you work really, really hard in nine weeks, you will find yourself in a position of abundance in some area of your life. Things will be a lot better, but it's not going to be easy. This is a worker. Somebody that sticks to the plan. This is grateful, okay? There could also be an increase of abundance that is coming for an individual that is uh, very centered on themselves, you know, focused. Get prepared for an arrival. Somebody is coming. So we have this independent person who is doing very, very well. There is somebody coming or there's an offer that is coming. That is an arrival. You better get prepared. Get prepared right now. Work on yourself. Work on your business. Work on your health. Work on everything that is yours because this is independence. Because you aren't going to be independent for long or something like that. This could be somebody that is becoming independent, becoming more independent, turning their back, focusing on the future. This is uh, getting on board, going someplace, traveling. We may have somebody here that is traveling. They could even be moving. This is some sort of, there could even be an inheritance that is coming or a raise or an increase in money. Okay, there could be an increase. Okay, with that nine of pentacles, that is financially abundant. Okay, it's a hard worker here that has picked themselves up. That's a very strong individual. And that three of wands is an arrival of some sort. Somebody's been waiting. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And well, here it is. It's right there. It's right in sight. What you've been waiting for is right here. I do believe there's a message that is going to be coming. I would say, oh God, what's this? Is that like an owl or something? I don't even know what it is. It could be a hawk. Um, something is coming to fruition by the looks of things. We have blo we have buds and then we have blossoms. So something is about to blossom. And I would say m 
and then I would, okay, so nine weeks, nine weeks. There's an offer that is coming that could really grow into something three months out from that, which is interesting. I feel like there's some sort of purchase. I feel like there's some sort of purchase that is coming or opportunity. This is definitely an opportunity to travel or expand. Somebody may be even expanding their business. It could be globally, it could be overseas or there could be somebody at a distance that is coming. They're arriving. I feel like we have, I know there's only got two cards, but I feel like we have an individual that is watching this entrepreneur. And I feel like it is an entrepreneur. It's somebody who has created something. They're watching this entrepreneur. They're watching this business owner or this independent person that is very strong and determined to succeed. They're being watched. Somebody's being watched. Ace of Cups reversed. That ain't pretty. Well, that's some sort of tear, sadness, emotional blockage. Emotional discontent. Not looking for love by the looks of things. With this Nine of Pentacles and next to the Ace of Cups focusing on the future. Focusing on expanding. Somebody may be focusing on expanding themselves. Expanding their business. Expanding their bank account or something like that. Not looking for love. Not looking for anything emotional. You know. Hmm. What is this Ace of Cups reversed? Ooh, messages. Sadness, tears. I feel like there's going to be some tears. There's going to be some sort of uh, messages or some news. I knew, know that there's going to be some news because I saw it up there. There's going to be a message or news that arrives that probably, I don't know if it's tears of joy or what. Um, but you get prepared to get prepared for some sort of quick fast movement I hope you're ready I hope you're ready you better be ready for this you may not be ready you may you're probably somebody is not ready they are not ready for this emotional you know happiness you know what I mean it's like I'm fo I'm very self-focused that is somebody that is very self-sufficient self-absorbed even this is the rods of love it really it is Okay, and it's a message is arriving on swift w w wings. Okay, so it is good news. Get prepared. So there's some sort of news that is coming, but Ace of Cups reverse. It feels like I don't know about this. I don't think so. You know, I'm not, I'm very content. We have a very strong, determined individual here that probably is not wanting to open their heart or something like that. Mm, because of heartache, because of pain, because of suffering, because they've been stabbed. Somebody's been stabbed in the heart. Okay? So they don't they don't want to have anything to do with it. So three of swords reverse. That is forgiveness. Forgiveness is needing needed. Leaving the past hurts behind. And we got that here too. And we know this is a common theme. I think, I think there's going to be some communication with somebody from afar, perhaps, at a distance that may be watching another person prosper because this is prosperity. I feel like they may want to travel or get together. That, that could be part of the communication. They may want to collaborate or work together even, but there's no desire. This, but Whoever this strong, independent person is really uh, has been, you know has no desire by the looks of things uh, 
very protective, very protective of their heart. You see the, you see the wire, you know, the wire around, you can't get in, not getting in, not happening. So that kind of answer. <laughs> Anyhow, somebody is definitely protecting their heart. Three of swords reverse. Forgiveness is needed. Time to leave the past hurts beyond. Beyond. It. I'm sorry, I am still on a little bit of medication, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> and that may help with the readings, I'm not quite sure, but I'm still going to do them. Anyhow, leaving the past hurts behind with the Three of Swords reversed. On the path to recovery. We do have somebody that is healing. They are healing. They're very much focused on themselves, but I don't think they're completely healed. Okay? Very self-sufficient. Has become self-sufficient because of heartache. Get prepared for some news to arrive out of nowhere from somebody that, from afar, that is watching. There's some sort of healing going on, though. Because this is healing. Recovery. On the, <laughs> on the path to recovery. Let's just take these, okay? Well, no, I'm going to put them back in. On the path to recovery. See, let's just take these. No, I'm going to put them back. No. So, hmm. on the path to recovery. But not quite there yet. Mmm. Nine of Swords reversed. Extremely exhausted. Somebody is definitely healing, tired, um, needs to rest. Nine of Swords reversed. Somebody could be feeling guilty or, or feeling ashamed with that Nine of Swords reversed. There's some sort of despair. Giving deep thought. Somebody's going to be giving deep thought to a relationship. I think there's going to be like an offer or, you know, an advance even. And, and I don't know if it's an advance of money or a job or a relationship or what. Somebody's going to it's what an advance. So you take it however you want. And we have an individual that doesn't trust. This is doesn't trust. You know, somebody's gut may be saying, you know, something isn't right. Something isn't right. Extremely worried about being hurt. Extremely worried about being taken advantage of. So we have somebody here that's going to be extremely worried. Ooh, definitely about being taken advantage of. Six of Pentacles, about not getting what they deserve. This is unfair. Uh, inequality, injustice, an abuse of power. Somebody has been abused. They've And somebody uh, doesn't trust. There's a lack of trust. Six of Pentacles, nothing to give. Not giving you a damn thing. Um, Six of Pentacles reversed not going anywhere this isn't going anywhere I don't trust very very worrisome somebody is very very worried about getting stabbed you know getting stabbed so they're there they're, it's like an offer is coming but there's too much worry about and distrust about being taken advantage of being used being abused for money because this person is very abundant so I would say that you do have to be careful you do have to be careful. Make sure that you are using your head, using your gut in regards to whatever offer is coming because somebody may be looking for financial support. They may be looking for like that sugar mommy or sugar daddy or whatever, you know. So I think there is a need to definitely be careful. Um, so there could be somebody that is coming in that really isn't emotionally available, but they need some sort of financial security. So be careful. Definitely be careful. Um, hmm. Strings attached. With that Six of Pentacles reversed, there's strings attached. 
un, it's not unconditional. There's a conditional, there's a conditional offer that is coming in. Beware. Woo! Death. Death is transition, transformation. The end. Message of an ending. Messages of an ending. Somebody is ready. They're ready to... Well, these are both new beginnings right here. So somebody is, is wanting a new beginning. They're wanting a better future. Traveling. Somebody may be traveling. I feel like there is travel here. We have an ending that leads to a new beginning. The end of waiting as well, because this is waiting. It's something is coming that you've been waiting for. It's the end of waiting. There's a new beginning here. This is a new life. Are you ready for your new life? Are you ready? Are you ready for your new life? Are you ready to stop this pain? Stop this hurting? Stop giving to a left, loveless situation. So I know I'm changing the story, but it is what it is. Get prepared for an offer or something. Ah, is it worth it? Um, you're gonna, you may have to defend yourself. Somebody may have to defend themselves. They may have to stand their ground. Uh, strong competition. Everybody's gonna be asking questions. Why are you doing this? Because this is what I want. People are gonna be asking a lot of questions. Why are you doing this? You're gonna have to stand your ground and stick up for yourself and defend yourself. You know, be, be, this is this message is about an individual who needs to protect themselves from an, another or people from people that want to take advantage of them. You're going to have to be strong. There is nobody that can take care of you but you. This is a challenge. There's somebody who's going to be faced with some sort of challenge and caught off guard. They're going to be caught off guard by some sort of, I don't know, communication by the looks of things. They're going to be caught off guard by some sort of communication or offer or something like that. That is, it, it, offer, it, it like offers a new life. Okay. Be careful. Give deep, 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 deep thought to this offer. Okay? You know, they're going to have to give deep thought to it because I feel like whoever you're dealing with, uh, well, let's get another card. What is this person, the person that is making the offer? What the hell are their intentions? I'm not sure they have good intentions. What are their intentions? What is this person's intentions? Well, hey, ooh, look at that. It fell right out just as slick as can be. The Ace of Pentacles. So this is a golden opportunity. They're looking for something solid, stable. Money. Money. Somebody's looking for, for stability. They're looking for security. Somebody definitely going to get an offer, okay? And it is a uh, tangible, something that, I don't know, it's a big one. They're going to get a big offer. Could be big money, okay? Um, to go down a new path, maybe even move, travel, go someplace. Um, somebody has manifested a new beginning. Get prepared. Get prepared to get caught off guard by an offer that you totally did not expect. This is a profound change with that death card. There's a separation and a loss with death that leads to a, a really uh, abundant new beginning for somebody. Okay, because if you add this one to this one, 
I mean, that's the Ten of Pentacles. That's like a new home. It's a new home. It's a, it's a new uh, establishment, a new job. It's, it's extreme abundance. But I feel like you're going to have to let go of your fear. Get let go of your fear of being taken advantage of. Maybe somebody took advantage of you in the past and stabbed you, but you can't let that hold you back. Okay, so I do feel like it's going to be an emotional offer. I think we have an individual that is very strong and, and has been burying their emotions that is going to get an offer that they totally didn't expect. Um, and that will catch them off guard. And I know I'm repeating myself, but that has never not changed. Um, I feel like you may somebody may even feel like they're 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 very indecisive. You may even feel like you know you're under attack. You know what I mean? Because this comes out of nowhere. It just comes like boom. And whoever you're dealing with wants an answer like right now. And they may even have other people asking questions as well. You may be getting several people in your ear. You know, several messages back and forth. Maybe a team. Okay? It could be a team of three people. I don't know. Hopefully it's not. Anyhow, um, but this is an opportunity that you have manifested. This is a new life. A golden opportunity, something you can touch, something you can take to the bank, may even have something to do with a bank. It could have something to do with going through a new door, something to do with a home, something to do with a, a new life, anyway, with that death card. It's something you asked for. Maybe this is something you planned for, but you weren't planning for it to happen right now. Anyhow, it's like the power is going to be in your hand. This is like a, somebody could even be a, getting a gift. And for some of you, it could be an inheritance. I don't know. Not for everybody. But it could be because this is like a gift. A gift of a new life. But you may feel opposed to it. I do see opposition absolutely and fear. Extremely fearful. And guilt. Somebody may be feeling guilty for, you know, um, ending something to go down this path. So anyway, get prepared for some sort of, I feel like it's an offer and I feel like it's a big one that you did not expect. Uh, Yeah, I guess that's it. Good luck. So yeah, I just want to tell you a little bit about my surgery. Um, now that I already said good luck, I, I tried to, it's been like, this is day five. And uh, obviously I'm a little medicated. And um, I tried to, to sleep in my bed today. Because I have had, I had to see my recliner. I had to, I bought a new recliner for the occasion because I knew this was coming. Anyhow, um, so anyway, I slept in my recliner the last four nights, and I was like, man, I'm sick of sleeping in that recliner. I want to sleep in my bed. So uh, I today I get tired about midday or whatnot, and uh, well, you know the whatever. Anyhow. Um, so I'm going to go lay in the bed and I have my girls bring the heater in because I go, he, wherever I go, the heater comes with me. I got a little heater. Uh, anyway, so I have the, because I'm not allowed to lift anything. So they bring the heater in and they turn it on and they're like, oh, I don't know if you should. I'm like, yeah, and I got a drain. I have a drain hitched to me, hitched to my stomach. And uh, so anyway, I, I get in the bed, I lay on my, and the drain is on my, my right side. I lay on my left side, but it kind of hurts a little bit anyway. But I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to lay in my bed. But it kind of hurts, but whatever. So then I lay on my back. I roll over to my back. And then still it feels... Then it's like everything is moving around. It's like, you know, obviously part of my stomach is gone, right? So it's messed up. So anyway, I did fall asleep. I slept for two hours in my bed. I don't know how I fell asleep. But I, I, I ended up rolling back to my right side. And uh, with all kinds of pillows propped me up or whatever. And I fell asleep. And... Uh, and I woke up and I was startled because I was shocked that I fell asleep. And I noticed that my drain bandage was soaked. 
so I guess I won't be sleeping in my bed tonight. Hopefully that didn't do any damage. Um, I had to change the bandage and I took some medicine, obviously. And um, so yeah, but other than that, I'm doing great. So talk to you tomorrow.